going on guys John here another video this video I'm in my basement I just got home from a road trip with the family and I went to uh, Peterborough Pro Tackle and I went there um, to buy a rod and um, I bought a rod and some extra stuff so I got a Mega Bass Destroyer P5 as you can see Landsat spinning rod. It is the F3 611XS, 6'11, uh, lure rating 1 16th to 3 8 ounce, um, 4 to 12 pound line rate. So now let's uh, unzip it and get the rod out. Right here. The labels are, are stuck, the tags. You can see the rod is aesthetically pleasing to the eyes. The destroyer original P5. This is Landsat right here. All right, the handle is nice, very minimal cork. All right, keeps weight down to a minimum. All right here, nice little butt end. Then you see right here, the little butt cap, Mega Bass Original. So the action is familiar to me as I am used to this type of action. Um, it is a fast taper, so still got a responsive tip, but where this rod shines is down the middle, right, is why I bought it, as you can see, right? It literally bends almost until the last guide right here. And that's the magic of the 5D graphite. So you kind of have, um, an action within the action so you have the tip action and then you have the mid blank action so it's kind of like two different actions in one and then you have the mbcs custom reel seat right here um, it says mega bat mega bass 3d uh, dynamics performance grip and it says uh, mega bass at the top here um, I'm glad it doesn't say Zaldane's name in it anymore so that's great and then the best part is is um, you have Fuji titanium SIC guides right all the way down right including the tip not sure if you can see that very well but titanium SIC nice uh, strong lightweight guides so this is a very versatile rod um, in terms of uses what it's made for um, is Neko rig um, drop shot especially nose hook drop shot Ned rigging you can use it with um, even the uh, small swim baits with like Okashira screw heads um, and you can also believe it or not you can also throw um, spy baits with this rod even though it's a 611 I'm a shore fisherman so 611 is is perfect for me especially with how the uh, the rod bends and you know spy baiting it takes between like five and and seven pound fluorocarbon is the recommendation for it so basically my use for it is going to be light neko rigging um, nose hook drop shotting so i don't have to keep um, retying from my nrx plus i'm going to also be um using spy baits with this yes i said that so i will be cork sealing this after the video and um yeah, my thoughts about the rod, like aesthetic wise, I mean, it's it's a gorgeous rod. Like it's it's absolutely beautiful. Fit and finish on this rod, I mean, it's it's gorgeous, right? Like you, you all the guides are wrapped nicely. Um, you know, it's, it's a fantastic rod. So I'll be putting my uh, Shimano Vanquish on it, the uh, C3000 um, XG with seven pound fluorocarbon straight. I'm gonna run it as a main line. I... So the rod with the plastic on the handle is 3.52 ounces, which is pretty low. 3.5 ounces is extremely light, extremely balanced. Um, don't forget there are weights in the butt section to balance the rod. But I'm pretty sure it may go down to 3.49 once I just remove the plastic on the handle so my thoughts on the rod my final thoughts um, when I said it's a familiar action 
I relate it to the whip snake. This is the closest you're gonna get to a whip snake on the uh, Destroyer P5 series. I used to think that the Adder Mine was like a whip snake. I seen a few videos and it told me enough that uh, the Adder Mine is just a little heavier and it's got the extra fast tip. So the Adder Mine is um, a medium light plus. This is just a medium light with a fast taper and all the specs are identical to both the Levante and the Orochi Whip Snake. But this rod is far more sensitive and far more lighter than both of them. Um, so that's why I got it. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna get rid of this rod. This rod's coming with me. I don't have my Vanquish with me right now to mount it on the rod. To show you guys, it's in my garage. But uh, I'm gonna cork seal the rod anyways. So, I mean, You'll see pictures of it anyways on my uh, community posts once I have it on. So now the last part of the video, um, the bag I got at Peterborough Pro Tackle. It's got a couple things in here. Um, so I bought Sunline um, Super FC Sniper in seven pound. Like I said, it's going on my um, Vanquish. I didn't want to go too light because of the um, spy baits. Like, I don't need to run six pound or even five pound and cast out and end up having my spy bait go one way and whatever line I got left going the other way. So I kind of want to keep it within reason. So I got seven pound. It's extremely durable and abrasion resistance. Right here for nose hooking, the uh, Wanot Owner Mosquito Light Hook. And like I said, you know, like. The gap on these, I, I've always relied on these for my nose hook. Um, the gap to the eye is perfect, especially for thinner baits like my Sculpins from Roboworm. So that, that'll be nice as well. Um, paired up with, with the Landsat, I mean, I probably won't even need to set the hook on them to be honest with you. So then, I got a another mega bass popper and you'll see the that i put in work with these i have the uh, gg bass color but you see that i put work in with these the mega bass pop max on my next uh, bass video which you're going to see before this video gets uploaded and this color right here is uh, pumpkin seed so i'm going with another natural color i know it's going to work and last but not least that i got um was the Dual Realis Spinbait 70 in Smoky Bone. And this is just a fantastic color. I mean, you can't go wrong with white, especially something that's not overbearing. And like I said, it's all about the um, drawing power. So you want these fish from a long ways, 15, 20, 30 feet away, to be drawn to these. It's not overbearing and bone is actually a very popular color. So with the, uh, with the Vanquish on the rod, the uh, total combo weight is uh, 9.5 ounces. The rod's 3.5 and the reel is uh, 6 ounces. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.